Did you know that the Orion Nebula is one of the brightest nebulae and can be seen with the naked eye? Yep, you heard that right, but only if you know where to look. Shining brilliantly in January skies is the Great Orion Nebula. This spectacular star-forming zone is also a favorite deep sky destination for astronomers. And astronomers are beginning to understand what's going on in this massive stellar nursery. So keep watching till the end to find out what the Orion Nebula is, where M42 is, and lots more. Mankind has always been on a never-ending mission to expand its existence into uncharted territory. Modern astronomy, which is deeply attracted by celestial objects, has set out to solve huge mysteries of space. And among these mysteries lies the Orion constellation. And in today's video, we will be guiding you on a little tour of the constellation. With the arrival of winter, stargazing and star watching is becoming more popular since the night sky is filled with some of the brightest stars and most magnificent constellations. One of them is the magnificent and well-known Orion constellation. Its discovery in the night sky signals the beginning of winter. Its images and references can be found in old monuments and buildings all across the world. One of the oldest representations of Orion may be found in an ancient Aurignacian mammoth ivory sculpture that is estimated to be between 32,000 and 38,000 years old. Isn't that amazing? But before we go too far ahead of ourselves, let us start at the beginning. Orion is one of the most famous and ancient constellations in the night sky, with several dazzling stars, nebulae, clusters, and more. Located 1,350 light-years from where you are sitting now is the constellation Orion. It is a densely packed region where numerous stars originate. And as a fun fact, Orion was named after a Greek mythological hunter. Its environment resembles that of the time more than 4.5 billion years ago when our solar system first formed. And understanding it would help astronomers understand the conditions that led to the formation of our solar system. The Orion Nebula, as large as it appears, is part of a much bigger star-forming region known as the Orion Complex. The most visible of all the constellations is Orion the Hunter. The three stars of Orion's belt stand out as a short, straight row of medium-bright stars located halfway between Orion's two brightest stars, Betelgeuse and Rigel. And after you've found the belt stars, you'll have no trouble seeing the Orion Nebula, also known as M42. To find the nebula, all you would need to do is look below Orion's belt where his sword hangs. Binoculars could also be useful but can show additional fuzziness. However, if you have the ability to see through a telescope, you will never forget it. Although its earliest records date back 30,000 years, it was identified in 1610 by the French scholar Nicolas Claude Fabry de Parisec and separately in 1618 by the Swiss astronomer Joan Sysat. It was the first nebula to be captured on camera in 1880 by Henry Draper. The Main Stars of the Orion Constellation Betelgeuse and Rigel are two of the brightest stars in the constellation which includes 81 stars in total. Betelgeuse, Alpha Orionis, Bellatrix, Gamma Orionis, Alnitak, Zeta Orionis, Alnilem, Epsilon Orionis, Mintaka, Delta Orionis, Saif, Kappa Orionis, and Rigel, Beta Orionis are the primary stars. The belt of Orion is formed by Al Nilam, Mintaka, and Al Natak. The red supergiant Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, is an outlier among the blue supergiants situated on Orion's shoulder. It is the biggest star in the constellation and is around 500 light years from Earth, with a radius 1,000 times that of the Sun. Stellar Nursery the nebula is a massive stellar nursery where stars are formed. At its core lies a relatively young open cluster known as the trapezium because of the pattern made by its primary stars. If we could see the Milky Way from above, it would resemble a pinwheel with four spiral arms. The galaxy is home to hundreds of billions of stars as well as vast quantities of gas and dust. First, what exactly is a nebula? Nebulae are dust and gas clouds that mark the beginning and end of a star's life cycle. Specifically, 
a massive cloud of dust made up of plasma, hydrogen, helium, and other gases. Some are star-forming regions, while others are star-death regions. The Orion Nebula is the latter. It comprises the most visible and consistent winter vistas in the Northern Hemisphere. There are multiple nebulae in our galaxy and they are also found in other galaxies. So, getting back to what we were talking about, the trapezium appears to be the unaided eye as a single star. Due to the formation's four big stars' trapezoid-like shape, scientists gave it the name trapezium. When observed via a low-power telescope, the star is divided into four, A, B, C, and D, from west to east with C being the brightest. A larger, higher magnification telescope exposes two more, E and F, while the biggest amateur telescopes may reveal G and H, which constitute a double star. It is challenging to detect colors in the nebula, despite what high-resolution Hubble Space Telescope photos or even photographs made by amateur astronomers indicate. Using telescopes, some observers have noted a tint of green or purple in the clouds around the central stars. However, because the JWST detects the cosmos's infrared radiation, it will be able to pierce these layers of dust. So with the aid of the JWST, we can hope to learn a lot more. Evolution of the Orion Nebula The busy stellar nursery is filled with towering pillars of gas and dust that house newborn stars. Images of this location show a variety of remarkable formations at sizes of around 40 astronomical units or roughly the size of our solar system. These formations contain a number of dense matter filaments that might spark the creation of a new generation of stars. The photographs also show the formation of star systems. These are made up of a core protostar surrounded by a dust and gas disk within which planets originate. The entire frame is shaped by stellar winds released by young stars, which also generate intense ultraviolet light. According to the European Space Agency, the Hubble Space Telescope recorded the sharpest view of the Orion Nebula ever seen in 2006, a breathtaking image exposing more than 3,000 stars, some for the first time. And in 2016, the most detailed and complete image of the Orion Nebula revealed even more planet mass objects and brown dwarfs. Recent Hubble Space Telescope investigations revealed protoplanetary disks within the Orion Nebula. This is a significant finding. They are known as propylids, which are assumed to be systems in the early phases of planetary system development. The sheer number of star systems formed has been used to demonstrate that star system creation is very common in the cosmos. When clusters of hydrogen and other gases in an H2 zone shrink due to their own gravity, stars form. The core cluster becomes stronger as the gas collapses and the gas warms to high temperatures by converting gravitational potential energy to thermal energy. If the temperature rises sufficiently, nuclear fusion will begin, resulting in the formation of a protostar. When a protostar begins to release enough energy to balance its gravity and prevent gravitational collapse, it is said to be born. The Many Colors of the Orion Nebula when viewing images of the Orion Nebula, you may have observed that there appear to be a variety of colors. And for good reason. The majority of the colors are caused by distinct chemical elements. According to NASA, the orange shade represents hydrogen, the green color represents oxygen, and the red color represents both sulfur and infrared light observations. Our eyes, unlike Hubble's, cannot differentiate the brilliant colors of the Orion Nebula. This is due to the presence of two types of photoreceptors in our eyes, cones and rods. According to the Rochester Institute of Technology, rod cells are active at low light levels but are unable to see color or fine details, whereas cone cells are active at higher light levels and are capable of perceiving color. When seen with the naked eye, binoculars or a telescope, the Orion Nebula looks like a gray smudge to most people. According to Leisure and Entertainment Magazine, Jersey's Best, if the conditions are ideal, it is possible to observe the blue-green tint generated by oxygen ions in the Orion Nebula. What have we discovered so far about the Orion Nebula using the Webb Telescope? So basically, the latest photos taken by the James Webb Space Telescope's NIRCAM are the most detailed and clearest we've seen yet. However, the investigation is ongoing 
but we hope to discover something new and exciting about this amazing corner of the cosmos. Fine patterns in the nebula's thick dust and gas clouds are far more visible in the photograph than in a prior image acquired by the Hubble Space Telescope. The newer picture concentrates on the Orion bar, which runs diagonally from the top left to the bottom right. Within this bar, intense photons from stars in the trapezium cluster, top right corner of the picture, interact with a molecular cloud, causing complicated ionizing processes. The star Theta 2, Orion's A or 2 Orion, appears brilliantly in the middle of the bar, with the typical diffraction spikes caused by the mere design of the James Webb Space Telescope. A deeper examination will, perhaps, reveal more about the various and different processes shown in this picture. So, do you think we'll be able to learn anything from the Orion Nebula? Let us know what you think in the comment section below.